Hello all, welcome to oratonics.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we renumber a purchase order using REST API. Let's get into agenda. We'll try to understand what is the API we have to use it and what are the parameters you require to change the purchase order using the postman tool. So the API, the functionality of this particular API which we are using is use it to change the purchase order number and we require when you are invoking like when you are working with any of the api or a general in our case the rest api it requires a privilege called po resolve actions rest privilege it requires a payload nothing but the input for the rest api it requires an authorization nothing but the credentials of your user and it requires a specific header parameters for this particular rest api and it provides a response saying that whether it succeeded in pro performing the action or not. Okay, these are the main requirement when you want to execute this particular API. The total five things, is privilege, request payload, authorization, header parameters, as well as you get the response, okay? Now, this is one of the example of purchase order which I created. Initially, before invoking the API, the header, the what do you call the segment one, nothing but the purchase order number was US1, 64647, and like uh, to get the pay to, you know, like uh, what you can do is like uh, to just validate whether you using your user credentials, where you're able to retrieve the purchase order or not, what I have done is I just use using the PO header ID, I perform the get operation. So here you can see the get operation, this URI, this is a URL, like uh, if you observe till Oracle P demos.com, it is my Oracle Fusion URL followed by the rest URI and followed by the, in the bold text, you can see the PO header ID. So in the get operation, by providing the credentials, I can get the PO detail. This is just for the get operation. Now, the operation what we want to perform is put operation. Let us see that, or a post operation, I mean to say. So here it requires the content type as this particular one, application slash vnd.oracle.adf.action plus JSON. And it requires this particular JSON body. The name is renumber PO, and it requires a parameter called new order number. In this one, you just provide the order, latest order number which you want to have it. And what is the action we want to consider the post action and the URI is similar to what you have provided for get operation, okay? And now, so here if you observe from the postman, you just need to, like you need to perform the action like this in the post, in the like uh, in the URL, mention the URI and in the authorization section, mention the credentials. In the header section, you just mention the content type application.vnd slash this one. And in the, in the, what do you call, in this particular body content, you mention this one, okay? The renumber PO parameters and the new order number to be created. Or I mean cancel or whatever you want to change it. Nothing but you want to change the PO number, right? It can be canceling the PO or you want to change it to a different number, whatever the way you want to do it, just mention the new number. And after changing it, this is a PO number, right? Now let us perform the total action one by one from the UI now. So what I'll do is I'll go to procurement, purchase order. Click on the task list. Create order. Mention the supplier. I'll say, yeah, ABC Bank or ABC Consulting. Click on create. And this is our PO number. Now, what I want to do is I want to renumber this particular PO, right? Nothing but change the PO number. So now what you can do is go back to the BI because we require a PO header ID. We require a PO header ID. So what I can do is I can simply mention order by creation date descending rather than hard coding the PO number. So click on view and see whether and see the latest PO here, right? We could see our PO here. And what is the respective PO header ID? This is the PO header ID. Copy the PO header ID. Go to the postman. So if you're working with the postman first time, make sure that you have the postman software installed. Log in, you can sign up using any of your Gmail or you can without login, without sign up also it works, but better you sign up so that later on all your particular history will be there within the postman. It easily, you can, you know, extract it easily and then create a workspace. And then, you know, you should be able to invoke any of the web API, REST API. Okay. Mention the URL, URI, I mean to say, and in the authorization section, mention the username credentials, and then just change the PO name. PO here, the last parameter is PO header ID. I'll paste here. 
a constant. And this is how I can invoke a pivot for the purpose of getting the data. This is get operation. And similarly, now what we want to do, we want to perform, we want to perform num renumbering the pivot. We want to change the number of pivot, right? Now I'll just change my pivot header ID. And what is the existing pivot number? This is my existing pivot number. And here in the body section, this is how you have to provide the input payload. This is JSON format. And here, this is my new order number. I'll just mention like this. It can be any format, whatever the format you want to follow, you can mention. And this is my URI, the post action is post URI. And in the body section, you just mention the JSON content. And then in the authorization mention, in the authorization section, mention the username credentials. And in the header part, you mention this content type, application slash vnd.oracleadf action plus JSON. And then click on send. If the status eat, if the status is 200, okay, it means that it is result is success. And you can go back to the BI and you can click on view and you should be able to see the latest Vivo details. And also you can validate from the postman itself. Now the same Vivo header ID, just click on send. Now you should be able to see the latest Vivo number. Earlier, what was the number? It is without any cancellation prefix. Now just click on send and you should be able to see the latest Vivo number, right? Now it says Vivo to be canceled. So this is how we can change the Vivo number. And most of the details will be available in the Oracle documentation for this one. You can just refer to this particular documentation, renumber one purchase order, and it provides what is the request. And here, this particular support, like a supported meta media types, we have to mention this particular input. And then the response, the response is the response. It simply says there is if the result is success, it says result is success. Okay. So this is this all about updating a PO number using the REST API in Oracle Fusion. Thank you.